Hey guys and welcome to your fifth C Sharp tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be talking about ways to modify your variables. Um, I've divided the group of variables or the group of modifying keywords into two separate groups. The first one is um, not really don't know how to explain it because they're sort of different um, from each other but the second one the second group on the bottom are access modifiers and I'm actually going to talk about, talk about this uh, top group first. Um, const stands for constant. When you declare something constant it stays that way forever. You cannot change it. <sighs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm yawning. Mm. Sorry, excuse me. You can't change it. Um, and it's it's um, it's viewed as a constant. It, you can't change it. It's like it's exactly the same thing as a final in Java if you know Java. Um, so that's that. You just, it's like it's like pi. You can't change it. You can't go up to your teacher and tell them that you think pi is a different number than it actually is because it's not. Um, static means that it can be accessed without using an object, and that's actually something I need to talk about after we start learning object-oriented programming and um, creating object, <clears throat> creating instances or objects of a class. Um, a read-only method or a read-only variable is exactly what it says. It's read-only. You can only read it. You can't change it. Um, uh, now, static and read-only variables can't be declared inside of a method like the main method. It has to be declared out here. So if I did like static int x, that works. But if I come in here and do static int, I hate it when it does that. Static, oh my goodness, please stop it. Static int y, uh, it says I can't do that because I can't declare a variable static in a method. And the same thing goes with read-only. It doesn't work. So, that's that. Um, that's just a little pe important piece of information because if you try to declare variable static inside of your method, you're going to be like, what is wrong with me? Um, and there's actually a difference between constant methods and read-only methods. And I will be getting into that, again, when we learn object-oriented programming because that will make it that much more easy for me to explain it to you without you getting severely confused and having a, an aneurysm possibly. So well, let's move on. Next is the uh, are the access modifiers. Private means that it it kind of is self-explanatory as well. It means that you can only access that specific variable inside of your class. So if I made another class inside this namespace and then I tried to do like program dot private or not dot private but dot int dot x or whatever if I named it private in x it would not let me view the value of that variable um, public is the exact opposite from private it'll let you see the variable from anywhere um, so you might be thinking, why would I declare something public rather than just not declaring it anything at all? Well, there are certain cases where public is required for you to um, access a variable because it kind of broadens the span that you can view it from. And I'll be uh, mentioning that as well when we get into like object-oriented programming and using more than one file to make programs, large programs especially. Um, protected is interesting. Um, it's another thing that we also need to talk about later with object-oriented programming again. Um, and inheritance especially, mostly just inheritance. And the same thing goes for internal and protected internal. So, and you can actually combine most of these. So you can come up here and do static read-only, um, let me change that, private, I can spell private correctly. Private static read only int x. That will work. Even though it's a lot of words, it will work and it's simple to, or it's uh, very important to put that on there depending on what you're storing in this variable x. It's a really important thing if you're having to make it private and call it x, you know. <laughs> 
But uh, anyways, and then there's also this worry about the difference between constant and read-only. Now, um, actually, never mind. I'm not going to explain that because that would definitely confuse you. Um, that's going to be another object-oriented programming thing. So um, that's going to be it. Next time, I'm probably going to be talking to you guys about loops, or not loops, but um, control structures. Um, and that's going that's a lot of fun. That's extremely useful. And uh, but for now, I'm gonna. I'll see you guys later.